Uh, everyone, glad to share our work, uh, investigate the access permission request in trigger action integrations. I'm Liu Huo, and currently I'm the third year PhD student in UQ. Uh, what's the definition of trigger action integrations? The famous examples include the FTT, Lifer, or smart things. It can help service connect with each other and form some simple but useful automations. We take the FTT as an example. It has over 20 million users and support near uh, 700 third-party services. Here are some several examples. So when the new email arrived, the Thai can help you to upload the attachment to OneDrive Cloud. Or uh, when the sunshine times, the Thai can help you to lock or unlock your smart doors. And uh, every time there is an online, online payment happens, please help me to record this transaction. So these simple rules help the users to connect different services with each other and form some simple, <coughs> simple automations. But this also brings security and uh, um, privacy issues since the Thai have the permission to access any sensitive information, including your Gmail body attachment, your online transaction, or your Google spreadsheet data. But also it can perform arbitrary actions like delete your files on the OneDrive cloud or even unlock and lock your smart doors. As we previously mentioned, in order to perform uh, actions on behalf of users and assess the user's results, the Thai must gain authorization from users. So every time the Thai want to perform actions, they must like gain authorization from users. And after the approval from users, the Thai, here is the IFTT, can use this access token to perform arbitrary actions without users pre approval again and again. And uh, here, the left side represents uh, the APIs that exposed by uh, exposed for Thai by the service MyDrive. So Thai can use these APIs like uh, to query the new files in this folder, the history of files in this folder, and even perform the upload file to specific folder from the URL. So in order to perform these arbitrary actions, the Thai need to gain authorization or permission from users like uh, the FTT will be able to see your photos and videos. But if we take a closer look, we can see that there is one permission called delete your photos. Is there any such API called my drive delete photo in the left hand? No, so this is, ob ob this is absolutely our overprivileged permission. And that's our goal, our work's goal. What's the functionality and uh, permi permission and functionality consistency? Does the Thai or FTT actually request the correct mm, permission corresponding to its functionality? So the functionality here refer to the API that can access Thai's resource and perform arbitrary actions. Well, the permission refer to the request or some permission from Thai and pr provided by the service provider. And the consistency is that Thai should not request unnecessary permission beyond its functionality. We have identified three challenges. And the first challenge is that, as we previously discussed, because the diverse, uh, diversity nature of the Thai, it including the smart, smart home, your online storage, and other services. So the documentation of the request permission is usually written by different service providers in various style and quality. In order to handle this challenge, we extract a uniform representation, which is an operation on which object from the diverse description using the large language model, ChatGPT, because it already shows our excellent performance in such tasks and it has a very excellent ability to capture the semantic meanings in the natural language, not only in the world level, like uh, delete your file in the world level, but also in the world freeze level, like turn on or turn off your devices. Another challenge is that similar to other, um, other systems, like if you are familiar with Android or Windows system, or Unix system, there are some like permission hierarchies. So here is one example. In one uh, online editor service, there contains the permission orders. So Workspace are in here order compared with board or compared with list and compared with uh, card. If we didn't uh, take this permission hierarchy into consideration, 
Using the large language model, we may consider the board and the card are semantic similar, and they re may refer to the similar or actually the same operation. But the actual case is that board are in here order compared with card. So we cannot mix them together. And to handle this challenge, we utilize a series of NLP techniques to help us construct the Lighten system and reserve the hierarchy in the previously built operation and object pairs. And for the last challenge is that, uh, as we previously see, we only have the accessible to the exposed APIs. We cannot get the source code like other system. So we use the, all the metadata of the API, including its distribution, its metadata, like its parameter, its return value, as the functionality indicators. And we extract the request permission based on automation service or authentication tools. So what's our approach? We will call it the PFCon, as its name suggested, the permission functionality consistency detector. And it's a systematic approach to check the permission request by time and its actual functionality. Besides, uh, the PFCon try to understand the overprivileged issue, which is the uh, request, uh, uh, accessible permission request in the real world Thai services. So our approach can be divided into three phases. The first phase, we will try to extract all available artifacts, including the functionality and the awesome permission, which is the request permission. In the phase two, we will get the unified permission extraction. And in the phase three, we will get uh, the uh, Latin system construction and uh, do the consistency checking. So for the phase one, we will extract uh, the functionality artifact from the home page of IITT. It's provided by the time. And for the permission extraction, we need to automatically log into the service provider. So we create a list of test count, like the Gmail service, the OneDrive service, or smart service. We use some keyword like username, your Gmail address as the identification for the login field. Uh, then we ident automatically identify this login field and log into the service and call the permission request for after we successfully log in. For the unifier pair extraction, we can see this rectangular represent our full sentence and our full sentence may compose a series of permission. Previously, we say FTT. We're about to see, delete, or edit your photo and documents. It's a series of permission. We do it in a two-step way. First, we separate this complex sentence into some simple sentence. Then we extract the operation and object pairs from this simple sentence. Uh, after we have extracted the unified representation, we need to construct the Latin system. So here is the extract pair, and we want to reserve its hierarchy, which is a permission system. But we know that operation and object is actually a two-dimension pair. So how we construct the order for two-dimension pair? So we do it step by step. We first construct latents for object level. Then based on this object, we do construct the latent system for all the operation on this object. And then doing this, we can build the Latin system for these two dimensional pairs. After we have successfully built the Latin system, we can do the accessible permission checking. So the left hand represents the Latin system for the request permission, while the right hand represents the uh, Latin system for the functionality. We can see this, this purple circle represents an accessible permission in object. And after we have done the object uh, access permission checking, we will do the operation levels. Similar for this three circle, you can see that it's an accessive operation. Uh, we apply our tool in the real world tie, which is FTT. It achieves a very good performance with nearly 100 to positive rate and uh, 94 to negative rate. Our service reveals that around the one third service will be requested with excessive permissions. This includes but not limited to the smart home, your online banking, and cloud storage. So if we have a close look for the online editor, you can see that the most popular request permission are the 
uh, remove or delete. When this operation are manipulated, you can, can cause severe impact for user's data because the user will lose their data. But this is an uh, excessive permission. We also investigate the root cause for the inconsistency, and it can be divided into three um, categories. The first is permission bundle. We found that a service provider may group different operations like I, delete, or edit into one group and exposed for the time to use. Similarly, if the service provider provides access to photo, video, and text files, they will ex group them all and expose to time to use. Oh, sorry. Uh, the second one is template usage. Uh, for the different service belongs to the same company like Google Doc, Google Slide, or Google Spreadsheet, they may use the one template with only changing the service name. So this means that the service which will not fit in this template will be requested with accessible permission. And the third one is that the permission system actually has some design flaws. Some uh, some services will use the cost green permission, like control or manage your device compared with more fun green permission, turn on or turn off your device. Others is that developers just expose all the permissions to the time. We found that for one online banking uh, service, it provides freeze and unfreeze your card. It's quite dangerous and it's not required at all for the tie to use. When this permission is manipulated, it will cause severe loss to users' financial money. Uh, we uh, we found that this cross-service platform do bring convenience for the end user because it can form some simple automations and connect different services, but also some overprivileged permissions are requested. And uh, we do, uh, we investigate uh, into the actual tie and find many violations that may cause severe impact. Our work can be used as a detection tool for both the tie and end users. Besides, we encourage the service provider and Thai should work together to enhance their security. So I'm ready to answer your question. Thank you.